What's up guys, it's Adrian and welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to make this video because I just released a new EP and I wanna take you guys through the 10 things that I immediately did as soon as I released my EP. So if you guys haven't already, just do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, drop me a comment and give this video a thumbs up. So the first thing I do as soon as I'm about to release a new song is I immediately go and create a video for it. So depending on the type of song you create would determine the best and most effective type of content you want to put out. For example, if you are a singer songwriter or your music has lyrics in it, then you can make a lyric video or you can find a piece of video content online and put your music behind it. The fastest way to grow as an artist is with music videos. So uh, it gets people a lot more engaged in your song. So if you don't have a music video for your song, then that should be one of the first things that you do. Now, once you do create a video, you wanna be able to convert it for all platforms. So Facebook will require a square format. Instagram, you can go up to a four by five. Stories is 16 by nine. So make sure you have the right format for um, your songs. Now, number two is you want to be able to distribute your music on every single major platform. Now, the tool that I used in the past was DistroKid. Now, DistroKid for $20 for a year, you can distribute as much music as you want and make 100% royalty from that. So, I'm actually gonna link, uh, put my link for DistroKid under this video where you can sign up for DistroKid, but get your music on every major platform and you do that through a distribution platform. I know there's SoundCloud distribution, there's also CD Baby, there's also TuneCore, and then you have DistroKid. Now they're each different in cost, but you get the idea. Make sure you're putting your music on all major platforms. So number three, you wanna be able to do some PR for your song. And when I say PR, I'm talking about getting someone else to talk about your song. And you can reach out to blogs, you can reach out to theme pages on Instagram, or you can reach out to YouTube channels. So basically you'll reach out to them, say, hey, here is my new song, here's my new album, would love to get it featured on your platform. And then they will take that song and put it in front of their entire audience. If they like the song. So it's very important for you to have high quality music. You can also use sites like Submit Hub, which basically takes out the manual effort from it. Basically you just use credits and you can reach out to blogs on Submit Hub or you can reach out to playlists on Submit Hub. And then if they like your song, they'll put it in front of their audience. Number four is you want to post everywhere. Post on your Facebook, post on your Instagram, post on your, your Twitter, your Snapchat, your TikTok, post your music on all your platform because this is where your current audience lives. And this is where you're gonna get the most organic reach. You've built up an audience already, so now it's your turn to use that audience to get more listens on your music. Now, if you don't have an artist page on Facebook, go ahead and create an artist page. Facebook is pushing artist pages a lot more than regular pages. So if you don't have an artist page, start building a fan base there and start putting your content there. Also, don't forget to put links in all your bios pointing to your newest release or your newest album because that's where most people are gonna go who follows you. They're gonna go to that link in bio and then from there it's gonna take them to your song. So don't forget to put that song in the link in your bio. And don't forget to create stories. Use stories to tell a story and get people to um, go to the link in bio. Now number five, you can direct message people manually. Now there is tons and tons of places where you can direct 
message people. For example, SoundCloud, you can direct message people on SoundCloud and send them your music. You can direct message your, your friends and your family members, ask them to listen to the song and share your song. You can also direct message on sites like Instagram. You can just DM people, DM um, a lot of people, as many as you can, send them your song and ask them to listen to it and if they like it, to share it with more people. For example, a lot of you guys DM me and I actually listen to your music. And if I like it, I'll put it into one of my YouTube videos and that gives you a lot more exposure. So DM people, the bigger the person, the better because the bigger they are, the wider their audience is. So if some one person who's big listens to your music and they like it and they share it, they have a huge audience. A lot of you guys probably are afraid to do this, but this is how you build a fan base. You have to do the manual work and reach out to people. And when you do reach out to people and they respond back, don't forget to say thank you. Respond back to them as well because they are your fan base. Make sure you to use that opportunity to actually build a relationship with them. Number six is you can actually find online forums where there's people talking about new hip hop music or commenting on new hip hop music. For example, Reddit. Reddit is a big marketplace where there's tons of forums where you can share your music and get a lot more people to listen to your song. There's also tons of Facebook groups where you can share your music. For example, if you are part of my Facebook community, uh, link's gonna be underneath this video, you can post your music in the group and everyone will listen to your song and give you feedback. There's tons and tons of groups out there just like that where you can post your song and get tons of feedback. And if people like it, they'll share it and support you. Number seven is email lists. This is probably one of those things where most artists don't do. You need to start building your email list and your phone list. If you are not doing this, you're gonna get left behind because this is how you build your own distribution. Once you have a large list, all you have to do is email these people whenever you have a release and now a lot of them are gonna listen to your music. You can reach out to them as many times as you want. For example, if you have an email list of 10,000 and 10% 10 of them listen to your music, that's 1,000 people who listen to your music off of one email. I don't know why a lot of you guys aren't doing this. Start building your email list and start collecting information. If you need advice or need help on building an email list, I have other videos where you can watch and I show you exactly what to do. I'll leave that right here. Number nine is reach out to Spotify playlists. There's tons of playlists out there, curators. You can literally just DM them. Um, and find them and ask them if they can repost your music. Some will charge you, some will do it for free because all playlists are looking for new music. And if your music fits the quality of their playlist, they're more than happy to add it to their playlist. So uh, start reaching out to playlists. And if you don't know how to reach out to playlists, I have videos showing you exactly how to reach out to playlists. And getting on playlists is the fastest way to get picked up by the Spotify editorial playlist because the more streams you get from other people's playlists, the more people add you to their playlist, the the easier it is or the more likely Spotify is going to see the activity on your song and then add it to the editorial add it to the editorial playlist. Number nine is advertising. As soon as I'm about to release a song, I immediately start creating content. I take my music videos, break it up into all the different formats and run ads to it, reaching out to all the platforms. Running ads is a complicated topic, but I have so many videos on this topic that you can watch and learn how to run ads yourself. And it's super effective and one of the most important things I do for when I release new music. And number 10, something I do a lot that not a lot of people do is I go out with friends and create mini content for my song. 
So I, I either create content myself, as in I go out with my friends and we video each other doing random stuff and use that as a piece of content to promote my music, or I'll go online and start uh, finding and piecing together mini content to promote my music more. Because these are the content I'm gonna be using in my advertising. And I also use it on Instagram Reels and TikTok. So I go out, create content with my friends, post it on TikTok. TikTok has a bunch of organic reaches, put the link in my bio, and also post it on my Reels and have the link in my bio and direct people back to that link to listen to my song. As an artist, these are things that you should be thinking about as well. And I've gotten huge results from every single one of these methods. So let me know in the comments which one of these you do and which one of these you struggle with. If you need me to make a video on any of these specifically, also let me know. Otherwise, hope you found value from this video. And if you have not, check out this video that's gonna pop up right here.